Well, there is movement this evening in the BC Transit dispute in Greater Victoria. This is day 10 of the limited job action by drivers and mechanics. And now the BC Labor Relations Board has appointed a mediator, and both the union and the employer have agreed to come to mediation and to try to reach a deal. CTV's Aaron Glazier reports. Bus drivers in the capital region are refusing to wear uniforms or work overtime. But those tactics in their labour dispute with BC Transit could be coming to an end if a mediator can break the deadlock. We're hopeful that uh, we could uh, have things moving forward with this process with uh, meeting with the mediator. If this chair of the mediation board, who has a great deal of experience, thinks that she can help us bridge the gap, that would be tremendous news for BC Transit and our riders. Informal mediation begins tomorrow, and the woman tasked with the job is Debbie Cameron, current director at the BC Labour Relations Board and former coordinator of hospitals for the BC Nurses Union. Cameron will spend one day with each side and a third day with both sides at the table. However, the union says job action will continue during mediation. There is quite a process that's involved in actually notifying all of our members as well as the way the overtime is assigned is something that uh, it takes several, about 48 hours to actually sit there and uh, implement. But the biggest elephant-shaped bus in the room is still a plan for new community buses, which will service smaller routes. The drivers behind the wheels of the new buses won't need the same training or license type as regular bus drivers, so they'll be paid less. The mediator will be discussing the issues of uh, the community shuttle buses and who will and will not be driving them. Students say they don't care who's driving the bus, as long as it comes. I hope something works out, because we need to get to school, right? So we'll see what happens. Instead of spending time in the library, they're waiting longer for rides and have fewer route options. If mediation can help end this transit stalemate, it will be back to business as usual for everyone by next week. If it doesn't, transit could come to a standstill across the capital region. Aaron Glazier, CTV News, Victoria.